to set the initial timing on this bike, and the first thing we've got to do is pick it up. Back wheel in the air. Stand up. We've got the good old 316 drill bit here. We're going to pop these rivets off this timing cover. There's two. That second rivet started to spin. Gave us a tiny little bit of trouble. Now, we want to get that there timing cover Just off. a couple of regular Phillips heads. Should be torqued on very lightly. That one is really light. I don't know if I like that. Time to go. This exposes the cam sensor. Got this uh, timing inspection cover. Call it what you will. It just lets you see the flywheel with the timing marks. And it's this big plug that's in here at the base of the two cylinders where they meet in the crankcase and it's a it's a 3 8 hex so get that in there Now we've got everything open. Right where I'm pointing my screwdriver, you can see the timing mark. Dead center in the timing inspection hole. Now, what we're going to do is loosen the plate cover, timing plate.
too. Now, this thing is all the way advanced for some reason. I don't know who did this. We're gonna turn this back, 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 back until, until we hear the fuel pump. We won't hear the key's not on. So, like I was saying, somebody had this fully advanced all the way. We're gonna tap it back, back, back. Just until we hear that fuel pump prime. That's it right there. Right there. Okay, well that's exciting because the bike was running like crap. I just bought this bike and it seems like that was a very big adjustment we just did. Let's see if that doesn't make this bike run right. It's still hanging in the air. We just made that timing adjustment. ECM spot should be connected here. Connected. Let's start it up. 